Starting right now, Erie County Executive Mark Polencars is delivering the state of the county address. In fact, here's a live look inside the Birchfield Penny Arts Center where that address is now taking place. County Executive is spotlighting ways to boost the county's economy and the workforce. He is also touching on affordable housing here in Buffalo. According to a Buffalo Place study taken in 2015, the population in downtown Buffalo is a little less excuse me, a little more than 8,000. That's compared to a study taken a couple of years earlier that put the downtown population at a little over 5,000. A good majority of those residents would love to live in some of the new condos and studio apartments that have recently popped up. So what's holding them back? The cost, of course, but that's not all. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Paulo Soro sat down with downtown residents on both sides of the fence tonight. Joins us live from the corner of Michigan and North Division with more. Paulo. Well, Jeff, I want you to take a look behind me. This is just one of the many downtown lofts up for lease. And I've talked to people who say they want to live in apartments like these, but it's just too pricey. Jose Rodriguez, who lives on Niagara Street, has wanted to move downtown for a while now, but says he can't afford the cost of living, although he has a full time job. But Barry Rebholz, who's lived downtown for seven years, says it is possible to find affordable housing downtown like he did. Now, Erie County Executive Mark Polencars believes developers who are building downtown lofts shouldn't get tax breaks. And if they are seeking these breaks, then they must include cheaper apartments in their projects for people who want to live in them, like Rodriguez. Basically, to live in an apartment down here, I will have to pick up a part-time job 20 hours a week extra just to be able to maintain myself and be able to be at a state that I'm comfortable living down here in this area. There still are reasonable apartments downtown. There still are, you know, private landlords who, you know, aren't, speculating these crazy rents. Reb Holtz, who said who lives on Franklin Street, says he pays $500 a month, while those living in some lofts across the street start at $1,000 and can go up to $2,500. Now, I spoke to Rocco Termini, who's developed many apartments downtown. He says Poland Cars' policy to include cheaper apartments would be great, but would definitely be hard to finance. Live in downtown Buffalo, Paolo Soro, 7 Eyewitness News. All right, Paolo, thank you very much. Well done.